How's it going guys? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. For today's build, I'm restoring a vintage Shogun Warrior Jumbo Machinda. Second issue, Brave Raiding. I've been looking for one of these for a couple of years now. I've seen a lot of them come up for sale, but the price was always a little bit too high for me. Until I came across this one, it seemed to have minimal amounts of damage and most of the problems seemed to be surface level, so I decided to get it. Now as you can see, it's missing the right arm, which is a really common problem with these jumbo machinders, as there was two versions available, one which had a detachable arm, which explains why decades later all of them are missing, and a second version which was called the bow fist version. I'm going to be doing the bow fist version simply because I like the look more. First up, let's disassemble the left arm. I'll have to model and cast a new blue blade, as the original no longer is usable. So I'll start with cleaning as much as I can, with water and a soft window cleaner. What I mean by soft window cleaner is something that's not going to damage the plastic. Luckily, a lot of the dirt and grime easily comes off. Next, I'll start by removing all the old stickers. I'll have to open up Photoshop and create some new ones. As for the surface marks and scratches, there really isn't that much that can be realistically done about it. And in terms of the paint job on the softer plastic on the head, any paint that I add to it wouldn't be perfectly colour matched, so I've decided to leave them untouched, other than a good clean. But for a toy that was released in the 70s, I think the condition of my overall figure is great. I'll be leaving on the silver armband decals, as they aren't really that damaged and I think they look fine. Next, I'll remove the lapels, so I can clean underneath them and remove the grime that's been built up. Next up is the castings. My delta wing isn't exactly accurate, but I don't mind because I like how it looks. So I'll mix up some of the silicon, then cast the new parts. Along with some black wheels for the feet, as two of the original ones were missing. Luckily, all four of the original clips for the feet were still on.
So after about a week, I received the finished decals. They were printed on adhesive paper, just like the original vintage ones, which means I'll have to cut out each sticker individually. Then I'll slowly start to apply each one. I did also take out the spring inside the delta wing launcher simply because I didn't want to have the lever always under pressure having a delta wing in the chest slot not being fired. About 10 minutes of cutting and sticking and all the decals are on and honestly it looks great. So for the bow fist, I tried something I have never done before. I 3D scanned the left hand with my phone camera. You see, the front camera on most newer phones can 3D scan somewhat, as this is the same camera used for facial recognition. After scanning, I mirrored the hand and then modelled the rest, and to my surprise it actually worked out great. I did have to clean up the model and sculpt a little bit to fix up some of the broken parts of the mesh from the scanning. So with the finished 3D printed parts in hand, I'll glue both halves of the model together, then sand it smooth and add acrylic paint and clear coats to best replicate the colour of the other arm. Now time to reassemble and finish all of the cast parts with the left arm. Next, I'll remove the flash from the delta wing casting and sand the bottom side. Now all that's left is to reassemble the black wheels for the bottom of the feet. I am offering raw casts of the delta wing, blue blades, along with my paper decals in my Etsy store. For anyone restoring their own version of Radine. Remember that it will require DIY to finish the parts and the cutting of the decals. And with that done, that finishes up this project. I hope you enjoyed today's build, if you did, please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment of a future build. Have a good one guys, I'll see you in the next video.